Hey, what's up guys? Have you ever wanted to make videos for Rocket Parrot Sound? Well, if so, today is your lucky day, maybe, because down below I put together a form that you can go ahead and fill out. Um, I'm looking for a couple of awesome content creators just like myself to maybe put together some more content, some bonus content for Rocket Parrot Sound. And if you're interested and you're good with video and stuff like that, go ahead and fill out the form. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this recreation of Getter's track, All Is Lost, and this is what it sounds like. What's going on guys, Shane here from Rocket Parrot Sound and welcome to the best channel on YouTube for Serum Tutorials. Now in today's video, we're going to be breaking down exactly how we put this drop together and we're not going to be laying out uh, this tutorial how we normally do it. We're not going to be recreating the sounds. Instead, I want to show you what's actually driving behind each of these sounds so you can go ahead and replicate it on your own um, and make a very similar drop because guys, we're not trying to be getter, right? We're not trying to like absolutely recreate his music. Instead, we want to take away some really key aspects that I took away from recreating the um, this part of the drop. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and start off with the lead, but one more time, this is what it, the whole thing sounds like. So pretty cool. On this, on the own, on its, what? On its own, this is what the lead sounds like. Okay, I don't know if my notes are correct. I quickly whipped this up, but it sounded really, really good and pretty close to the original. Um, so this is what, this is literally all that's going on. So this is actually a pre-made preset that I made basically about a year ago. It is very similar to like a Flux Pavilion, old like old school dubstep kind of sound. Uh, so I ended up saving it and guess what? It came in handy today. So basically what's going on here is um, we basically have this analog sine waveform as well as a basic MG, which these are just basic, basic waveforms. As you can see, not much going on. Nothing's being modulated there. And, you know, just on its own, um, they sound like... It just sounds like a really, really loud singing sound. Uh, we put on the filter. And the filter is really just boosting up those higher end frequencies. We're literally just EQing this with the bandpass. As you can see, we're cutting out the high end and increasing that. Uh, I mean, we're cutting out the low end, I'm sorry, and increasing that high end quite a bit, which is really what's just driving that up. And another thing you're going to realize is the sync is on here on the on oscillator A. So it's increasing the octave to about 5.9%. What that's doing is since we're not doing a full 6% up there, so we're not increasing it by a full 6 octaves instead it creates like this really nice interesting sound um and it sounds a lot more harmonic that way so for example if we were to go ahead and turn this up like five okay it does not sound too good um so now we go ahead and turn this up or four okay sounds extremely annoying let's go ahead and turn on the sync now and now actually if you count how many waveforms we have here one two three four five and not quite six, as you can see, we have that there. And that's exactly what's going on in this sound. And it, literally, that is all we have. And then we have the effects that are just enhancing the sound. We have the compressor um, that is turned on multiband to just even out the frequencies. Distortion, that just kind of brings it out. As you can see, we have a down sampler. And what this does is it making it sound a lot more lo-fi and uh, less quality. And reverb. And then some hyper and dimension. And then we don't even have anything on the EQ, just a little bit of a high cut because this is jumping up so much. So that's literally all we have for the lead. And guys, it's literally just this lead and then a bass. By the way, these presets are available down below uh, in the description if you want to go ahead and download them. Uh, but they're a little bit different from what I made some tweaks before I recorded this. So anyways, in the bass section, we have some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, We have like this cool Reese saw kind of sound. And all we have is a three oscillator setup. Take away or disregard the noise because the noise is hardly doing anything in the sound. Instead what we have is um, as like the starting point, we have the sub here, which is literally just a sawtooth waveform. And that's pitched up one octave. And then, you know, that's contrasted between oscillator A, which is a square waveform. And that's pitched down one octave. And those two waveforms together create like this really uh, heavy, it's, it just sounds a lot more thick, I guess you could say. Um, let's turn off the effects real quick. If we were to turn this up one, turn it down one. 
So this perfect combination is absolutely fantastic for what we're going for. And then once again, we just turn on oscillator B and turn on the sync. And the sync, as you can see, we did a partial to 2.58%. And we just have a little bit of unison turning up the voices um, and essentially all we're doing here guys is we're just uh, increasing the thickness of the sound we want this to sound nice and thick all right um, and now we just have compressor distortion very straightforward tube is blasted a hundred percent that way we just get that fat Reese sound and then maybe a little bit of hyper uh, it's actually a lot of hyper and then some reverb. And one thing you're gonna realize between the lead and the sub is we both have on the attack 94 milliseconds because I didn't feel like side chaining this. Instead, um, I just decided to turn up the attack because it was easier. That way it, it goes kick and then the attack starts to uh, take into place. And one last thing guys onto the lead that you're gonna see is we are modulating the fine tuning on both oscillator A and oscillator B because we're increasing, like we're creating a vibrato effect. So that's literally all we're doing. If I were to turn this off, turn it back on, you can see it's activating here. That's all that's happening. So between these two, that's really what's making up the bulk. I added in a little bit of sub. Finally, we just added in one layer of noise and it's, just whoops turn this off and the noise is literally just an ac hum that's pitched down uh two percent to add in a little bit of thickness and that is how i came very close to recreating this drop um i just added in some drums and added in this little thing right here which is just a sawtooth waveform that's like distorted and maybe has a little bit of unison on it And it sounds fantastic. So anyways, guys, I know I don't make these kinds of videos usually where I don't recreate the actual sound. Let me know how you like this style of video because um, honestly, I thought that you would get a lot of value out of it just by taking a look at what's going on and not actually having to recreate both sounds because we have multiple presets in this video. Like I said, these presets are down below if you wanna go ahead and download them. They're not the exact ones that I showed in the video, but they're extremely close. So. Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know how you like this style in the comment section below. And anyways, my name is Shane from Rocket Pirate Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next Serum tutorial.